So you just built a circuit and you go to power it up and you get nothing through your guitar pedal. You check all the voltages, everything checks out fine, but for some reason the signal's not getting from the input to the output. What do you need? You need something like this, an audio probe. With this handy little gadget, you can connect a probe to um, probe various points in your circuit and see if your audio is getting through the point where it's not. You probably found your, your problem area or one of them. And then from there, you can just run this directly to a little amp. I use my, my um, mini amp right here which is a very indispensable tool for me. I use this a lot. And basically all this is, is a, now let me get the back off. All this is, is a mono jack with a, the hot signal going through a 0.1 UF 50 volt cap to the center of the BNC jack. And then of course the, the, uh, I guess, what is this? The sleeve and the, ground connections are connected together and you know that's what you use to probe a circuit. I, this also doubles as uh, you can use this as a connector from a BNC cable to a mono jack which I did in a previous I mean a mono cable which I did in a previous video. The, the first place I heard of the audio probe was on the geofex.com website and he shows this kind of a a uh, a mono jack with this cap here and you wrap this in electrical tape and it goes to two alligator clips and that's the way i initially built it but i found later on that was way too cumbersome um you know it, may, it might work for poking around a tube amp but when you're in a in a guitar pedal and stuff's very close together that's just too cumbersome for me so I had the thought one day, I will just use an oscilloscope probe and connect it to this and then run that to my amp. And then with your oscilloscope probe, you, know, you can just connect this alligator clip to, pramp, to uh, probe to ground. <laughs> and then you can just poke around your circuit with this nice little fine point here and touch where you, you know the signal is supposed to be and if it's not there you found where the circuit where the signal dies and then maybe you can see oh i have a bad solder joint or whatever and you fix it so this this has at times been an indispensable troubleshooting tool and i think anyone that's in uh do-it-yourself audio type stuff really needs to build one of these and I suggest doing it this way. This way is just a whole lot easier than the alligator clip method.